today I have an absolutely fantastic little meze recipe for a sesame crusted feta, fried feta, not baked. So before we even start, let's take that off the table. Please don't message me or text me saying that, oh, could I bake this? You cannot. It does not come out the same. And it is so good. Live a little. It's only a few calories. It's just after the holidays. Nobody's going to see you in a bikini. So let's just make this the way it should. So first things first, we have here a nice little healthy slab of feta. It's about 150 grams, give or take. And very simply, we're going to make this in terms of a uh, wet um, glue type of thing using eggs. And then we're going to crust them with some uh, sesame seeds. So I'm going to take a couple, three eggs here because I want to be uh, generous with my, uh, with my coating. Nothing complicated at all. And with this, let me just grab a towel here. I'm going to throw in some chili flakes. I'm going to throw in some pepper here. And I'm not adding any salt in this recipe. It's not a mistake. It's just that there's enough saltiness or brininess in the feta to kind of um, to, to carry it through. I'm going to take a nice wide pan. For this, I'm using a 12-inch pan. You're shallow frying this, so you don't need anything really deep. So just real gentle. Just break this up. Scramble your eggs along with our chili flakes, pepper. So now that our eggs are ready to go, we come to the second part of the process or the breading process, which is a little bit of flour. Now, for this... Typically, in order for the eggs to stick, we need two things to happen. A, I want my feta as dry as I can possibly get it. I don't want dampness or as little as possible. So I've patted this dry beforehand with, um, with a paper towel just to absorb the, the excess moisture. So now that I'm done flouring my feta, I'm just going to dip it into my egg mixture carefully, making sure that it's completely coated with egg everywhere. And flip that around and make sure that you only have one hand getting wet of this. You don't want too many, um, you want to turn both hands into like this grossness. That's not really what it's all about. So that's that there. And like I said, Take your time with this. Make sure that your feta is completely, completely coated with the egg. And that's what's going to get the sesames now to stick on top. And we come to the sesame part. And for our sesames, I'm going to use probably close to a cup of sesames or sesame seeds. I'm going to take about a cup of my olive oil and I'm going to put it in there. And again, keep your hand, keep one hand always dry. It'll make things a lot easier for you. So that's perfect right there. Now I'm going to take my feta, place it just inside my sesame seeds, and just start coating it all over the place. So now, my right hand is all cooked, but my left hand is dry and ready for, uh, to, to add and continue working with this. So just spread this around and make sure your feta is all evenly coated and brushed on just like that. That's actually perfect. This isn't exactly the neatest thing to do, but once you get the hang of it, it is so worth it. So no time like the present, time to get the show on the road. And you're going to carefully grab this as carefully as you can and just place it in your pan just like that now just leave it there's nothing else to do if you want you can take a few more sesame seeds whatever totally up to you and just let that go this is going to do about five or six minutes per side so 
So now my feta is ready. Time to do what I've been waiting for for a while. Oh my gosh. Look how perfect, absolutely perfect this is. Now, time to liven this up a little bit here and actually add a little drizzle of honey to this. So this is, this is it here, baby. Perfect. So my friends, that's it for my sesame crusted feta, fried, not baked. And again, please don't ask me if you can bake this because you can't, it will not turn out the same. I hope you guys try this recipe. It's a very easy recipe. You can probably do it in about 20 minutes or less. I thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that like button and check this recipe out and so many others at kensgreektable.com. So until next time, I will definitely see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.